Hello and welcome to another Strobe 2 tutorial. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Curve Transmod modulation sources. The Curve source can be seen down here by selecting either the Curve 1 or Curve 2 tabs. And what they allow us to do is essentially remap a source to a custom curve. You can draw your own curve in the window. If you right click you can reset it to the default. The Curve modulation source requires an input as seen by this input parameter here. When I play something on this patch and increase the input parameter, you'll see the input being remapped over the curve. Of course it's no fun doing it by hand, so the best way is to assign another modulator to control the input. Let's take the LFO of this patch and assign it to the input. I'm going to put it to a sine wave and slow the LFO rate down a little. And you can see there that it's controlling the input. So now when I play you can see that input being remapped. Now currently we can't hear anything because we haven't assigned the curve parameter to anything. Let's do that now. We'll select Curve 1 Plus as our transmod source and we'll apply a little maybe to some filter cutoff and maybe to some sync modulation and maybe some noise. <laughs> So that's quite an extreme sound and currently it's not really doing anything that the LFO doesn't do and that's because of this linear line. If I draw in a different curve, you'll see instantly that the curve remapping changes. Where it gets really interesting is when you start to use the X step and Y step parameters which quantize the curve. Now currently we're using a sine wave LFO to control this but why not use a ramp? Or even a sample and hold. perhaps with a slightly faster speed. The slew parameter here will allow us to apply a little slew to the output, so that'll give us a slightly smoother waveform. Finally the Y step parameter does for the Y axis what the X step does for the X axis. So it allows you to quantize the Y axis to a certain number of steps. So at this point we can freely edit without ending up with quite the crazy waveforms that you do without the quantization applied. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Of course, you don't have to use the LFO for this. You can actually use any of the transmod sources. And that, in a nutshell, is Strobe 2's Curve Modulation Source.